I had a few guys that probably want me to play with their asshole and shit like that. Maybe, you know, peg them a little bit. But from what they say, they don't like guys. But, you know, <laughs> you never know. Now, there's a debate on that. There's some that will call that out as gay, and then there's some that will not count that as gay. Where do you stand? Some say that's bisexual, huh? But is there really a such thing as bisexual? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get canceled by the fans, so. Because <laughs> I did a lot of girl on girl porn, and I love my lesbian fans, so that's like a biased conversation, you know? Because they don't see girl on girl the same as guy on guy, so I don't know. I feel like each is, to each is his own. Do what you want to do. I'm going to stay in my lane. You stay in your lane. Just don't bring that shit over here. I don't want to fuck you if you fucking another man. I just don't want that. I don't want dick, I mean, ass juices from a man inside my pussy. Like, no. <laughs> now, just for clarification here and being respectful as well, care to share what your sexual orientation is? I am... <laughs> I like girls to fuck. Okay, so I'll fuck on girls, but I'll never be in a relationship with a girl because I'm just, I can't. I need some authority. I need a man to handle me. I'm too dominant for that. So I need a man to be with, and I love men. I love men, for sure. And um, I would fuck a tranny in the ass. I, I've never done that before, but I would kind of explore that just because, like I said, I am very dominant. So, but yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what people would call it nowadays. There's so many uh, acronyms and all this stuff. So I like girls and guys. I'm just going to say that. I don't know what they call it nowadays. But not enough to be in a relationship with no, a female. Hell. It's just sexual satisfaction. And I, wouldn't, and I or... don't do threesomes with my man at all. Like, if you're my man, that's it. Like, once we become a relationship, there's no threesome. There's no we're fucking bitches because I'm definitely enough woman, period. Now, just for some further clarification... Have you tried or have you attempted a girlfriend-girlfriend relationship? Or you just know without even attempting that you don't want that? I just know I don't want that. So never officially had a girlfriend-girlfriend relationship? Not really, no. Just fucking on. But actually came to the conclusion like we like each other, shit like that. Uh, nah. Mm -mm. Not my thing. But I'll fuck the shit out of bitch. That's for sure. <laughs> And when it comes to your sexual history, <laughs> uh, what gender were you attracted to at the very beginning or at first for you? Oh, male. Okay. Yeah, male for sure. I didn't get into girls until I kind of got more comfortable with my sexuality. Like maybe college, probably. I think college, yeah. And at what point do you come out with that? In the porn industry. Yeah, that's when everything came out. Yeah. And were you outed as this, or it was just a scene that people yeah, saw, and that was the way of you coming out? Because I'm not really gay, but I guess I'm gay for pay. So, yeah, they just came out that way, yeah. And this scene or the initial girl-on-girl -girl situation, is that something you initiate? Someone initiates on your behalf? Well, being in the industry, that kind of was like a fetish. That's a fetish. So, like, fetishes, you make more money with fetishes. So I was just down for making more money. And I, I kind of was cool with fucking girls than guys more, for sure. Like, instead of getting penetrated, you know, I'm just, you know. But still, do you initiate that first girl-on-girl -girl action? Or is that someone maybe requesting or offering that to you? Hey, Yeah, the company requested it. They okay. seen me online and stuff, and they were like, oh, okay, we want to shoot her and stuff, yeah. And... You just did it, it was no problem, or were you fighting back on that, pushing back on that, you know, so to speak? We all had those urges when we were younger, like, hmm, I'm bi curious. Let me just see if I like women. Let me watch a little porn. You know, let me see what I see. So like I kind of was curious, but not enough to try it until then. So especially since I was getting paid for it, I'm like, you know what? Let me just try out my curiosity, see how it goes. Now, how did your family or friends react? Because this happened later in your life, publicly. Yeah. And they know you as one way, well, which is straight at the time. Even first, how I even got found out about doing porn, because I wasn't even telling my mom the truth. I was telling her, like, I was going to do photo shoots. But my mom calls me one day, and she tells me, like, um, my cousin basically was watching porn. He was jacking off. And it, I turned around, and it was me. 
and he called my mom and he told her I was doing porn and it was just so crazy because the whole family knew after that like he ran his big ass fucking mouth and told the whole fucking family so everybody knew so I became like the black sheep and stuff so like after then I think they kind of just knew like everything was up for grabs at that point like they wasn't shocked that I would be a girl longer if they even know but I mean I don't hide it so now for you just thinking in terms of uh adult entertainment and porn specifically mm -hmm. was there any for lack of a better phrase gateway before porn so for example there's stories of exotic dancers that do that first they strip i never strip and then eventually get into porn i just had tricks i just had tricks honestly the my old boss the first boss i had the first car lie he's the one who taught me how about tricks he just he kind of like was like, you got it, you got it, you can, you got the the gift the gab and you got the looks, you can do it. And he kind of like taught, like not taught me, but kind of opened the doorway for me having tricks. So when I first start getting tricks and I start getting stuff paid for, my car fixed and all this stuff, I'm just like, damn, people really have this on a bigger scale where they really get in the bag from it and it's legal and, you know, you can get famous from it. Hmm. And that's where it began. Sexyjobs.com. That's where I went to. That's where you as an adult entertainer, you go to sexyjobs.com. You'll find managers. You'll find porn companies looking to shoot you and stuff like that. And that's where it began. And I found that on Craigslist. <laughs> now, when you say tricks, was this just a finesse at the, in those days of just using the gift of gab, but you wouldn't sexually engage with someone? Right. Okay. Right. It was just basically you just... Vanessa, you know, just looking cute, just, you know, older white men and, you know. Just, sugar you know, daddy vibes? Sugar daddy vibes. Like, I didn't really have to give no sugar, you know. I was just, you know. But when I started giving the sugar and you got more money, it kind of made me feel different. So then I'm like, okay, well, instead of doing, you know, being a prostitute, let me just at least do porn. Porn is the legal it's legal prostitution. Let's just keep it real. It's legal prostitution. But is it safe to say that not everybody can do porn that does prostitution? Yeah. Because you still have to have some type of internet presence, some type of entertainment, some type of sex appeal. Like, you know, there's thousands of people that make sex tapes, but everybody doesn't get famous from doing porn or making content. Like, you really have to have it. Like, I guess I just know how to fuck. <laughs> but it's, I imagine it's not only it's that. Like I'm because a professional, people see me like a professional fucker. But it's not only that. It's, it's, there's prostitutes out there. Right. But it's private. It's one thing for another person to Escorts, show this uh, on camera yeah. and be in front of the whole wide world. world when you're thinking about online. Anybody could see it in any country Anybody. Uh, around the world. Around so the world. Uh, I guess what got you to, for those, pro, for those that were prostituting in the past that can't be on camera, it's a private thing. Yeah. How did you, if you get what I'm trying to say here, because not everybody- How did I make can, it not private anymore? No, how are you able to just do this, have sex on camera? Because there, not anybody Honestly, can just do that. I don't even know. Sometimes there's like a, the a line a person can't cross. I really don't even know. I really don't even know. Some people say I sold my soul. Some people look at it like I sold my soul because I'm doing it for the money. Or I was doing it for the money. Maybe. Maybe at that point. Maybe. But I don't know. I just did it i just dove right in and i'm that type of person though like when i want to do something i don't really i just do it like i just i'm i'm just i'm just determined like fuck it i'm just going to do it i'm going to be the best i can at it and if i succeed i succeed if i don't i don't it just i don't know i don't even know how I, it just i even went to porn like it, i don't know my mind back then probably was just everywhere did you look at it as, as survival at all? Of course. Always. It's always survival for me. It's always survival. It's just about getting the money. It's never personal. Like, it's never no feelings involved. There's never, you don't fall in love with the finesse. You don't mix business with pleasure. Like, you leave it separate. You feel me? Because when you do, that's when problems come. That's how I caught two cases. So, so yeah, you don't, you leave it separate. You just leave it as a finesse for sure. And what kind of cases were these that you're referencing? Um, kidnapping, domestic, violence, battery. 
attempt to commit a crime, mm, assault with a deadly weapon, shit like that. Were these charges that you well, were? I did time for it, so I could talk about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did the time, so fuck it, I could talk about it. Yeah. No, but didn't know if these were charges that the state or you know that the person, government puts on you, the or state and that these, person, yeah, or or these were the end result of the charges that actually stuck. Some of them stuck, yeah. Not all of them though. Some of them stuck. I have to do anger management classes and domestic violence classes and community service and um, a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff. Can you share what stuck? Um. Well, I did get a lot of expunged, so pretty much nothing really stuck because I did get it expunged. Um, only well, thing, probably like the um, you don't the have domestic. To, if, I I think the domestic violence is still on there, but I'm not sure if that one's still on there because that was a while ago, and I haven't seen anybody um, bring that up or when I be applying for stuff and all that type of stuff. But other than that, but yeah, I'm fighting the case now too, though. So I'm out on bond now. For, this was attempt to commit a crime, but they don't have no fucking evidence. So like, whatever. Yeah, they saying I tried to hit somebody with a car, run them over, and kill them. But that's not true. The fuck? What the fuck? I look like? Just beat your ass. Fuck! I'm running over. In regards to your family, uh, okay, you were the black sheep after it's found out that you're in porn. But what about your sexual orientation? The fact that, uh. However, the correct term is for what you describe. Uh, how has your what's the current status update with your family or your friends once you were out there with everything, the porn and the sexual orientation? Um, it still was, it was the same. It wasn't anything different. But now, like it's it's different now. Like now that I'm not in that side anymore, like it's getting back to normal again. Because another thing, like I didn't even want to come around my family, so like. I kind of was shadow banning myself, if you could say. I didn't want to be around nobody. I didn't want to. I kind of wanted to just do my dirt in peace because I knew they were going to be talking shit and I didn't want to hear it. So, because I was going to continue to do it. So it was like sitting there listening to it, knowing I was going to still do it at the end of the day. I just didn't want to deal with it. So I kind of like, that's why another reason why I moved to Atlanta and got the fuck away from everybody because I wanted to do my dirt in peace. Yeah. Now, what do you want to say to those, and again, circumstances could be different for everybody, but what do you want to say to those from a parent's or a parental uh, perspective if they do find out that their child is doing porn or their child is uh, what you described as far as a uh, sexual orientation? Well, I was grown when I did it, so I was taking care of myself. I didn't have to depend on my parents and stuff like that, so... I mean, nobody wants to see their kid um, camera getting fucked. Let me just tell you the truth. Nobody wants to see that, but it's like we all grown and we all making money and shit. I mean, if you don't leave your kids a legacy or something to build on and they have to start from the bottom and that's the lifestyle that they choose, I mean, what can we do, you know? But, I mean, support them and, and you know, just be there. I mean, I just feel like when my kids, like, I'm the type of parent, like, no matter what they do, I'm going to support them. Like, even if I wouldn't take that path myself, I'm going to support them because those are my kids. I love them to death. Like, it doesn't matter. Even if society doesn't accept you, I love you no matter what, period. Like, that's just the type of parent I am, though. You know?